Kilmore. I am so smitten. I'm the past tense of smitten. I'm smart. He has so climbed Mount Gorgeous. I am so totally his type. Oh, he's so handsome. And according to the articles, he is such a sweet and good-hearted guy. You guys are all bugging, all right? This Kip Kilmore character is nothing but some lights and makeup, all right? I heard in real life, he's 5'2", and this right here, it's a rug. How can you say that about Cher's future potential husband? Because it's true. Jealous. I'm not jealous. Mm -mm. Kip wouldn't fake. He is much too fine a person. Anyway, I happen to know for a fact that he is tall, has sky blue eyes, and does all his own stunts. Oh, yeah, and how do you know this? Because Daddy represents him. <gasps> oh, my God, you've met Kip Kilmore? Tell me, tell me everything. Was he wearing the jacket? I know what movie he's doing next. You have to tell him. Come on, what? spill it. Well, he's going to star in the movie version of The Tarantula. The oh. comic book? Oh, dog. If anyone could be the tarantula, it'd be Kip Kilmore. Unless, of course, they cast me. <laughs> hey, Murray, think fast. <laughs> oh, you gotta love me. Run, Sean. Run. Quick, oh, you gonna feel it? I was so exhausted from a heinous PE class that all I wanted to do was go upstairs and veg. And then I noticed our maid was not in her usual housekeeping attire. Lucy, is somebody getting married? You would not believe who's coming in five minutes. Who? Kip Kilmore? Oh, my God. This is a code gold. D, he is on his way. Him? No, I'm not kidding. You have to get over here. Look as all that as you possibly can in two minutes. No, don't take time to pluck. <sighs> Hurry. <sighs> A sudden interest in one of my clients. Funny, I didn't see you get all dressed up for international valves and piping. We won't bother you. That's right. You won't bother us because you're not going to be here. Now go on. Shoo. Both of you. Go on. Kip. Hi, Mel. How's it going, mate? <gasps> he said, mate. He really talks like that. Oh, sure, I must admit, he is true husband material. Mm. <sighs> They've been in there for like three hours. I know. The stress of having to look good this long is getting to me. <sighs> are you two still here? What on earth are you doing? We're, We're waiting, waiting for Kip. He went out the back. Well, is he coming back? Is he gonna do the tarantula? Ask his new girlfriend, Summer Bonet. She seems to be calling all the shots. Oh, Summer Bonet? That terrible actress? Oh, calling her an actress is being kind. She's a total spokesmodel. This is so tragic. Ooh, I can still smell his aftershave. That Tari? Uh, no, definitely man rest. Oh, Summer. She has no talent at all. Her only talent is preying on the hearts of poor, vulnerable men like Kip. Do you remember when that director of Primal Death left his wife to be with her? And she made him cast her as the lead in that remake he directed of The Miracle Worker? And he never worked again. And then she went with the singer from Locust, and she made him record that horrible duet with her. And then the band fully broke up. Oh, how could he possibly fall into her web? When he needs someone who cares for him and supports him. Oh, that's so Mother Teresa, Cher. You've reached the home office of Mel Horowitz. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hello, Mel? Uh, hello, hello, I'm here. Hi, it's Summer Bonet. Hi, Summer. T, the machine didn't click off. Oh, it's private. Yes. We shouldn't listen. As if. Kip's contract. Summer, we've been through this before. You're not Kip's manager, and I don't work for you. Yeah, and I told you that I am playing the female lead in Tarantula, even if Kip has to stop production to make it happen, okay? I mean, come on, he's a two-bit hack. He's so dumb, he's gonna do whatever I tell him to. Goodbye, Mel. This is a disaster. 
This is just like when they gave Demi Moore $12 million for strip teeth. You knew it was gonna crash and burn, but there was nothing you could do to stop it. <gasps> oh, my God! I'm downloading a heart attack. Kip's date book. <laughs> Don't taunt me, Cher. No, it's his, look. Costume fittings, workout schedule, interviews. He must have left it for a reason, subconsciously. Like, he wanted someone to find it and help him. Remember, Murray, you're sworn to secrecy about this date book. If anyone found out, it could be like plutonium falling into the hands of Beavis and Butthead. Did it ever occur to you guys that nobody cares that much about Kip Kilmore one way or the other? How could you say a thing like that? Obviously, you did not see him on Letterman when he got a complete standing ovation for carrying that huge coffin of soup from Rupert's deli. He's heroic and caring. And disaster awaits him. We have to find him and play him the tape. Is that him? It's him. Oh, 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 oh we're not ready. Oh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We weren't ready. Mm -hmm. I told you he's not here. Excuse me? We happen to know that Mr. Kilmore is here, and we have a very urgent message for him. We're, We're his, his lawyers. lawyers. Look, if you don't have an appointment, I have to ask you to leave. Salon. Miss Einhorn, how are you? No, good to speak to you. I'm sure we can accommodate you any time. Tuesday? Tuesday at 10 doesn't work. Uh, let's look at Thursday. Thursday at 5 also isn't very good. Excuse me, this is a private area. sensitive this must be so hard for him we can't give up did you guys see about those two deranged fans stalking kip kilmore <laughs> did it ever occur to you that maybe they are not stalking him and they are just trying to help not that we'd know or anything <laughs> whatever d you're gonna be my shortstop because you're low to the ground you got speed and you got soft hands Cher, you're gonna be third base because you're a thinker. You anticipate. You're a leader. Plus, you guys will be close on the field, so if you feel that female need to gossip, you can do it without disturbing the game. Murray, what are you talking about? Co-ed softball. Start Sunday. We're gonna slaughter Toluca Lake. Give it to me. Uh. Boys, uh. boys, this is really nice, but we don't have time for childish games. There must be some other girls you could ask. We don't want to. Well, we want to, but, <laughs> but you're the only ones who can actually play. That's really sweet, but we're too busy right now. I see. Okay. I see. All right. Think fast. Ah! High school boys just seem so immature next to someone like Kip. I know. When can we next see him? <gasps> Dee, look. Kip is shooting tarantula at the studio lot at 5 o'clock. We can see him in between takes. Hi. We have a special uh, pineapple and pepperoni for Mr. Kip Kilmore. Yeah. Sorry. You're not on the list. Oh, well, if he doesn't get it steaming hot, he's going to kill us. You know, Mr. Kilmore. Not escape the tarantula. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Cut that scene took three hours to set up. There's no pizza girls in this scene. Ah, oh, somebody get me off this thing. How did you even get in here? Do your parents know right that now. you are here destroying my life, my film, my work? Get me Mel on the phone right now. I want to speak to Mel. I'm out. 
You! You're the girls who've been ruining my life for two days. Leave me alone. If you come near me again, I'll have you arrested. All right, come on. Off. Come on, let's go. Off the stage. In the rhyme of the ancient mariner, uh, Coleridge uses the albatross around the uh, mariner's neck to symbolize uh, what, Murray? Uh, annoyance. Like when your own boo and her best friend won't play on your softball team. Sort of. Mm-hmm. Dion? Aggravation. Like when your boyfriend will not give it a rest about something you have so fully outgrown. Uh, Mr. Hall, I think it's like this Alaya that I bought last year and I have never worn. And it just hangs in my closet because every time I go to put it on, the color is like mud. I... I know exactly how the poor mariner must have felt. Well, let's just go back to the poem. Ooh. Uh, oh, and now, don't forget our special little rule. No general hospital while we're in session. But, but Mr. Hall, we need to find out if Jax is going to stay with Brenda after his secret marriage to Miranda's been revealed. Or will he go back to Miranda? See, it's just now getting juicy. Yeah. It is an ancient mariner. And he stoppeth one of three. While well, Mr. Hall was droning on and on about a guy with a dead seagull around his neck, I couldn't take my mind off poor Kip. And I never would have gotten here if Shea Horowitz hadn't warned me about summer and showed me what true selfless love really meant. Shea, Mrs. Kilmore, this one's for you. Oh, he's so flawless. I wonder where he is right now. Oh, he's with Daddy. I wonder what they're meeting about. It must be something really selfless and heroic. I can't keep doing this movie unless they let me have naps. Look, I'm on a special high-protein diet. I need lots of sleep. You can't get these cuts without naps. My trainer says it's imperious. Don't you mean imperative? Yeah, that too. Look, Kip, I don't know if the studio is going to agree to renegotiate. Guaranteed naps, uh, it's pretty unusual. No, no. Summer says you have to show him who's boss. Now, she's going to give me a whole list of things that I'm going to demand. Summer says you have to ask for all these things or they won't respect you. Now, if they want me to play a man who's half bug, then they better respect me. Well, <clears throat> Mel says... <clears throat> Maybe your girlfriend shouldn't be so involved in your contracts, and you should cut back on your demands and be happy that you're starring in a multi-million dollar blockbuster that's gonna set you up for life. Summer has my best interests at heart. And I don't? Well, I gotta think about it. Actors. Bunt? No, Sean. This is Bunt. Oh, I thought this was Bunt. Oh, my God, look. He's meeting right. it tonight at Beluga. We have to go. We cannot let this go on anymore. Nope. Woman, I got some signals for you to memorize. Yep. Mary, we told you, we have adult, mature things to do. Oh, that's right. I can't believe that hussy is making Kip cast her as the Black Widow. She cannot act. That is so calculating. Yeah. I told you it was highly classified. Oh, come on, he's my best bud. He's got top security clearance. Guys, if you'll excuse us, Dee and I have an emergency plan to put into action. Where did you get that yummy Italian leather date book? Amber, give me that. Why? What's the big deal? If it's yours, it's probably empty. <laughs> <gasps> Kip Kilmore? Amber, that's private. <gasps> he is going to be at Beluga tonight. Nobody is to be there. <gasps> he needs his privacy. Don't be mad. Come on, man. It's fun. Well, I don't know about this. This feels uncool. Come on, man. It's Kip Kilmore. You gotta love him. Oh, the man. Is this... Oh, hey, Shalil. Oh. 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 Can I have your autograph, please? Sure, what's your name? Not you, Kim. You the man? 
you to Matt. Come on. Can I get a picture, please? Can I get a picture? No, no. Just, just Kip. Just Kip. <laughs> Kip, we know all your moves. We know all your moves. Look. Yeah, yeah, look. Look, Sama, I'm really sorry. I have no idea how all these people knew that we were going to be here. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's just I wanted to be alone with you, you know, so we could have our private talk about your future and, uh, and that contract. Because oh, you know that I care so much about you. And you definitely need a guardian to take care of all that talent. Yeah, but no one else cares about my talent. All I could do was watch helplessly as Summer weaved her vixen web. And then suddenly, an even more hideous obstacle. Um, Kip, I really hate to bother you, but would you mind if I got a picture with you? Hey, sure. Uh, but just, just one. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Say, I love Amber. Hey. Oh. Are you all right? Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just really allergic to cheap perfume. Could you just create some distance so I can breathe? I will be at the bar. Summer, Summer, wait. This was it. Amber had unwittingly created my window of opportunity. Listen. Excuse me. It's you. Hello. Summer, this is the girl that's been causing me all those problems. Stay. Mel, Kip, listen, I want you to take out a restraining order on this teenager. Oh, she's blonde, about 15. Never leaves a person alone. Yeah? Yeah? Is your name Cher? Hi, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to fix this, and I will call you right back. You're Mel's daughter? Yes. And there's something I think you should hear. And I told you that I am playing the female lead in Tarantula, even if Kip has to stop production to make Give it happen. Give me that. Okay? I mean, come on. He's a two-bit hat. He's so dumb. He's going to do whatever I tell him to. Kip. Kip, it was just negotiation, you know? I, I was playing hardball. You called me a hack. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it was a tactic, you know? A strategy. You know what, Summer? I don't think this relationship is exactly what I thought it was. I think you better leave. Fine, if that's the way you want it after everything that I have done for you. I know I have been such a mosquito, but I just had to warn you. Well, y you had a good motive. L listen, since, uh, since you're here and I have no one to eat dinner with, um, would you like to join me? Really? Oh, sure. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, sure. I tried to act totally non, like having dinner with a legend was no big deal, but I was freaking. So, do you think I'm a hack? Kip, you are so not a hack. I mean, like, all your stunts. How about when you did that slow motion jump off that building in New York Nuke? <gasps> ah, now, see, I couldn't really do that one. Uh, for insurance reasons. Oh. So, do you do any of your own stunts? Oh, yeah. Tons. Like, every time you see me walking really fast in a movie, <laughs> well, that's me. Oh, cool. So, didn't you get to travel to a bunch of really exotic places? Uh, I mean, didn't Au Bahrain shoot in Paris and Tahiti and the Arab Emirates? Oh, what was Paris like? Was it romantic? These cuts look defined to you. Um, they're awesome. Or are they the cuts of a hack? No, no. So, when you're not making movies, what do you do with your friends? Well, I've kind of been too busy to make too many friends. Actually, to be honest, I find it hard to meet anyone 
is more interesting than me. <laughs> I suddenly realized maybe Kip wasn't so perfect or deep or even vaguely interesting. How'd I do so poorly on my love SATs? Hanging with him would be like hanging with that ancient mariner guy, only Kip would be the dead seagull. In the end, I would much rather be hanging with my own real friends. Keep your eye on the ball. Make me proud. Come on.